there's a very important, a very important clinical point I want to discuss in this question. So uh, send me the answer. Just try. Guys, this question is actually very important. Yes, the person who, Shashank, you're correct. Okay, I'm going to discuss this. Not C. Okay. So, we have a 45 year old woman who comes to the office due to progressive fatigue, progressive fatigue, myalgias, and muscle weakness. What is the difference between myalgia and muscle weakness? Pain. pain. One is pain. One is pain, the other one is weakness. Okay. This point is very important. I will come to this. Both low in both lower extremities for the past month. She has slight difficulty getting up from a chair and has weakness and cramping in the legs after walking a short distance. The patient has problems, including hypertension. Uh, so I'm going to leave that part out. Examination shows mildly decreased strength in the proximal muscles of the lower extremities. With sluggish ankle reflexes, we, all, we had a question previously about um, reduced uh, muscle reflexes. What was the question on? We did a question on reduced muscle reflexes. What was that question? What was the diagnosis in that question? Mm. Huh? Sorry? Hypothyroid. Yes, hypothyroidism. Okay. Uh, lab shows normal erythrocyte sedimentation rate and elevated serum creatine kinase. Why does uh, creatine kinase elevate? Muscle breakdown. Muscle destruction. The EKMB, uh, when we check for heart attack, all of those, this creatine kinase elevates when there is muscle destruction. Serum, sodium, glucose, potassium, and creatinine are normal. Which of the following is the uh, most appropriate next step in the management of this patient? Remember this, when you have myopathies, first of all, think of two things. First, think hypothyroid myopathy. Okay. First thing you need to check is hypothyroid myopathy. This presents with muscle weakness, plus muscle pain. What, why does muscle pain occur? Why do you think muscle pain occurs? Stress. Sorry? If there is destruction, if the muscle is being destroyed, you get muscle pain. That means creatine kinase 
will be elevated. If you see the word muscle pain and you see that creatine kinase is elevated, then think um, hypothyroid. Okay. And there's going to be delayed reflexes. This is the first thing you need to take into your head when you uh, see the word hypothyroid, uh, sorry, when you have muscle weakness and muscle pain, the next thing that should come to your head is glucocorticoid induced myopathy. In this, if the glucocorticoids are high, there is muscle Weakness. No pain. CK is normal. Okay. This point is very important in the endocrinology chapter. I'm going to show you guys this in the previous question, because I know that people missed it. They didn't even think about that as an issue. Okay. I hope you are done writing. Okay, I'll give you guys a few seconds. Okay, I'm going to show this now. Check this. Proximal muscle weakness. Proximal muscle weakness in a question on cortisol. There's nothing about pain. Okay. These are not questions that I made. These are standard questions. Okay, I need to be clear about that. Her mother has hypothyroidism. No, that doesn't have. So they have, in hyperthyroidism, you have deep tendon reflexes increased. That's not really the issue here. Yeah. We did not, another question. Oh yeah, uh, here, delayed relaxation of dependent reflexes. When you get these words, think of hypothyroidism and glucocorticoids, okay? There's some other conditions which are needed for the differential diagnosis, but these two are the main, okay? Next one is statin-induced myopathies. If you put... I, we did this in the GI module. If you put a statin with statin plus niacin, you get a myopathy. And in this one, you get muscle pain. Okay. What does it tell you about the CK levels? Increase. It will be high. The next one, uh, we have two inflammatory myopathies, okay? That means inflammatory types. One is, it's called inflammatory myopathy itself. The other one, is polymyalgia rheumatica. Polymyalgia rheumatica. We will discuss this in the next module. Uh, in both of these, there's increased ESR. In, wait, 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 wait. Increased ESR, normal CK. Wait, sorry, increased CK. In the other one, there is increased ESR, 
normal CK. Okay. Can someone tell me what do you mean by the word myopathy? A disease of the muscles, okay? Polymyalgia rheumatica, inflammatory myopathy. Poly polymyalgia rheumatica, it's more of a stiffness, muscle pain and stiffness. Sorry. Uh, it's stiffness in the shoulder area. And they usually present with difficulty uh, dressing in the morning or combing their hair, uh, something like that. Okay. And uh, inflammatory, it could be due to infections. Try question number seven. Okay, I'll leave it like this. If you're done writing, try question number seven. If you guys have any questions, please ask, okay? The reason I put this question is because of this, these two. This is something you need to know. It's very high yield. Yes, Tushar. Tushar, you are correct. You guys should be able to get this 